My name is Carl. Very musician. I like Nike's Nike running sneakers. I collect Air Max retros. Save your preset. These are automatic. Automatic. I can't speak English. These are automatic. You know what I mean. Okay, people, let's look into what we all know. Let's dive into how we can create a Rix loop within Reason. Now, I have my song as one consolidated file. And it's loud. Now I want to slice this up to a, a Rex loop. There is an option right here in the, if I right click the file. But it's grayed out. So what you need to do to access that option is to, you need to enter slice edit mode. You can either do that by double clicking this file or selecting it and hit slice edit. Bam! Now, see all the slices here. These are automatic, automatic, you know what I mean. These are automatist uh, found. These are automatically detected. There you go. Uh, by Reason's algorithm. If you want to add, you can use the pencil note, or the pencil tool to add a slice. If you want to remove, use the eraser. Let's say we're fine with this. Select all slices, or if you want to select uh, some, hold shift and mark the ones you want to you want to select. If you want to select all, hold command shift A. I don't know what you do on a Windows machine, but I know you'll figure it out. Right. When we have selected these slices, right click the clip again, and now we are able to bounce the click to a Rex loop. Bam! By drag and drop this Rex loop here, create the Rex player, which can run my Rex file. I can also play the individual slices from my keyboard. Right. If I want to dive into and just have one of the samples. They're available to me there. And this could come in handy in another situation where say I have just jammed away on a keyboard with a lot of chords and stuff and then I can bounce that down to just a selection of samples and pick the ones I want. But there you go, that's how you create a Rex file and you could export that and use in any sampler that could load um, Rex files. Just make sure to right click it here in the browser, export samples. Save it to your desktop maybe. And now you should be able to import that wherever you want to use the Rex file. And that's it! Now you know how to create the Rex file.